Hey, what's up guys? This is Guy here. Welcome to this new video. It's live on YouTube today, Sunday. I go live every Sunday at 3 p.m. New York time. So if you want to join me live, you can come at that specific time. So if you're watching the recording, yes, you can come live and ask your questions and we will have this conversation together. Thank you so much for being there. And I say hi to everybody. Ahmed, hi. I do French lives and French um, streams as well, but they are not on this channel. They're on a different channel. So if you want to watch me in French, you should go to KB Trainings en Français. That's where I speak French. Here, I only post English videos and I speak English over here. Thank you so much. So today we're going to talk about the five main qualities or the five qualities that you should have if you want to be a good engineer. And I'm not saying that if you don't have some of these qualities, you will not become an engineer. You can still be an engineer. You can still work in the field. You can still have a career, but it will not just be as successful as you would like it to be. And you will probably shoot yourself in the foot because you will do something that you won't enjoy because these qualities will make you the kind of person that will enjoy working in an engineering envi environment, resolving problems, uh, looking at details, and being really sharp in your job. So that's what we're going to talk about today. And thank you so much. Say hi in the chat and say where you're watching us from. And I'm glad you're joining me here. I don't know if there's any problem with the streams. I see a message here from, from uh, YouTube, but I think I should ignore it because... My OBS shows that everything is fine on my end here. Thank you, guys. So without further ado, I'm going to start telling you about these qualities that you should have. And this is from my 12 years of experience. I was, I'm in the field since 2011 when I started my career. And these qualities, according to me, are what one needs to be good in this job, to be good in this field, to be good in the tech industry. And um, I apply them to myself. I can observe myself having these qualities. And I think that's how I'm able to navigate in this career um, in somehow successfully. And that's why I'm here to share those with you. Thank you. Hi, Paul from Switzerland. Hi from France. And I'm glad um, to have you on the live here. We also have some people on Facebook. Let's go on Facebook and take a look. Um, Yes, we have yeah we have a few people on Facebook. Say hi on Facebook as well. Thank you for joining us. So let's go to the qualities. The first quality I want to talk about is the analytical and problem-solving skills. This is pretty much what you're going to be doing as an engineer. When you're trying to work in the field or when you're working in the field, resolving problems will be one of your main task to do because as an engineer you will face many kind of outages many kind of configurations to do or many kind of problems that you need to find solution to and if you are not that kind you will have a hard time at work you will have a hard time um, enjoying what you're doing and you will probably come back home very stressed out and start screaming on your husband or your wife or kids or whatever that's what i'm saying by shooting yourself in the foot because you need to do something you are enjoying if you are the kind to resolve issues, if you are keen to trying to find solutions, you will be fine in this field. Hey, Jean-Paul from Kinshasa. Oh, people from Kinshasa are here too. That's that's great. I was in, I was in Kinshasa last week, um, just for a week, and uh, I'm now back to Denver here. Hi to Kinshasa. So anyway, you need to know or you need to be able to resolve issues. And I'm not talking about technical problems. I'm talking about anything in life. I'm talking about a situation that you are facing. Let's say you have a bus that has 18 places and you have 21 people that need to uh, come on board. You, you need to be the kind of person that can be like, hey, what are we going to do here? What can we do? Can these kids sit together or whatever? Those are the kind of person you you need to be to be a good engineer because your manager will look at you, your director or whatever. You are the kind of person that they look up to to find solutions to problem, and that's something you should have. And education is really important in that regard because at school we had problem solving um, classes. Hi Chelsea from Houston, thank you so much for joining us here. So when if you want, when you went to school. And I'm not talking about university uh, specifically, but I'm talking about um, elementary or high school. 
we have problem solving classes where we solve problems. And there you can pick up some skills, um, some problem solving skills that you can put to work in your job, how to analyze and how to resolve problems. That is the very first quality that you need to have to be a successful engineer. As I said, you can be an engineer without some of these qualities, but how good of an engineer are you? And also, some of these qualities are part of you, like you are born with. I would say it's more like nature, I mean, or nurture, per se. Um, so these, these qualities can be built in in you, just if you are, as if you are a device. So you may have them in you already, or you can cultivate them. You can acquire them with time if you are working on them. That's what I want to tell you here. So if you don't find yourself having some of these qualities, don't worry, because you can still work on them. I think you are programmable. You can educate yourself. You can develop skills that you don't have now. And that's what I like about humans because we can adapt very easily. So yeah, that was the first quality, which is uh, being analytical and knowing how to solve issues. The second quality that you should have to be successful in this field is to be able to have attention to detail. This is a big one. This is the kind of skills that will make a difference in a team. If you are the kind of guy that can look at something, look at the configuration, for example, and spot what's wrong with it. I've, been, I've worked on cases where engineers have worked on it for weeks without solving the issue. But when I look at it, I can clearly see what's going on. That's because my mind is usually oriented toward the details into anything. And that's good because as an engineer, you will be configuring devices. And in some environment, like in uh, MSP that I worked uh, for a couple of years ago, we had these huge lines of restaurants managing tens of thousands of restaurants in a single portal, for example. So if you go there and you make a small mistake, you can bring down 5,000 sites. And that's a problem. I've seen people being worked out because of one, two, or three HOEs, HOEs which is like a human or cure or whatever error. So it's like the kind of errors that happened because of a human. It's not just the system itself, but it's somebody making or inputting dumb configurations or uh, wrong configurations in the system and it brings down the, system, it brings down the, uh, the whole network. So you don't want that because most of the companies will give you a warning the first time, second time, and maybe the third time will be the last for you. And you need to be really uh, careful when you are dealing with anything in this field. You need to be detail-oriented to be successful. Very important. And the next skill or the next quality you need to have is to be patient and to have perseverance. Really, really important. You don't have to be a quitter. Don't be a quitter in this field. You need to be the kind of person that gets satisfaction by solving. So when you are facing something, you don't just try the least you can and then give up. Don't be the kind of person that gives up because you will not be a good engineer. The engineer is the one who does everything in his power to get to the solution or to find the resolution to the problem that he's facing. And that's how you're going to be successful. We all know that guy. We all know that person who always does the minimum and um, relies on other people to finish the job. But you need to be the kind of person that doesn't quit in anything, not even in the career, but in anything you do in life. If you are pursuing a certain goal, for example, be the kind of person that wants always to go at the bottom of it and get the result desired. So you need to have a lot of patience because sometimes your, your solutions will not always work the first time around. You may need to try it many times. You may need to try many things. You need to be perseverant to be able to be successful. And that's the quality number three that I want to talk about today. The quality number four is the ability to be able to learn and keep learning. That is the motto of KB Trainings here. Learning never ends because it never ends. And the tech field is evolving exponentially. So if you spend 10 years, let's say you sleep for 10 years and you wake up later, you will be lost because things are just moving so fast. And the only way for you to keep up is to keep learning. If you don't like to learn, don't do it because you're going to be obsolete in a few years and you will not find value in the market. I mean, you will not bring value to the market. 
And that can be a problem for you finding a job or even being happy with the job that you're doing. Because you need to be able to learn all the time, acquire new skills, and always pushing the frontiers of your knowledge. That's how you're going to become a good and successful engineer in um, in your career. So the just like I said, the quality number four is the desire for continuous learning. Really important and uh, very useful for any engineer out there. Then I'm going to finish by talking about the fifth quality, which is, um, should be appearing here. Okay, yes, the fifth quality, which is actually the communication. You need to be a good communicator. As simple as that. Most of your job will be you communicating with your colleagues, communicating with the executives, communicating with your manager, communicating with the client. If you don't know how to communicate, it's going to be a huge problem for you. And this is something you might have now. You can be a good communicator or you can learn how to communicate. You can learn this. It's a skill that you can acquire if you put some time into it. And it's going to be very useful, even for interviews. Interviews is actually just you marketing yourself, trying to show off your skills or show what you know, what you can do so you can land a job. So if you are good at communicating, it will not only help you find or get and keep a job, it will also help you be efficient efficient at that job itself because you'll be able to communicate with your colleagues, with your client without any problem. And that's something you can develop if you want to be good and successful. Those are the five qualities that I think have helped me and can also help you if you are applying them to your career. If you don't have them, study, go around, watch a lot of YouTube videos, do some trainings, do some um, whatever resources you can find online to be able to develop these five qualities because without them, you can still be an engineer, but you will be suffering. Like you will not have good time in this um, in this field because I think when you are working for something that you enjoy, you're going to develop passion and you will also be able to spend a good day at work and come back home and do other things with friends and families and just be balanced. But if you are stressed at work, it may affect your whole life and you will net, you will not get anything of value out of it. So that's all, guys, for today. Thank you so much. I am uh, I appreciate the guys that took their time to leave a comment in the comment section. So I go live every Sunday, 9 p.m. or maybe 4, no, no, 3 p.m. or 4 p.m. New York time. Anyway, just subscribe, may I be subscribed to the channel. And if you're watching us on Facebook, make sure you share the message. Make sure you share the video with your friends. And uh, that's the small message that I wanted to bring you today, guys. And if you have any question or any comments, you can leave it in a comment. I'd be glad to respond. Um, and if you are studying for the Cisco CCNA, the course is available on kbtrans.com. That's where I go from zero to engineer, giving you all the concepts that you need to know to take and pass the CCNA, which is a huge certification exam that can help you in your career. And I also share with you many other projects here, including um, Fortinet, Palo Alto, and all those. No, I haven't done Palo Alto yet, but I've done Checkpoint and all those other ones. Um, if you like those kind of uh, technical videos, make sure you subscribe as well. And I'm going to be announcing something on my LinkedIn um, next week. I think it was on Monday. It will be Monday or Tuesday. So make sure you're also uh, following me on LinkedIn to see that announcement as well. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. And um, again, if you have any question, uh, leave it in a comment. I'd be glad to respond. Um, have a good rest of your day or your evening or your night, depending on where you are right now. I'll see you in the next one. Take care and bye.